Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at creating Google Forms. Google Forms are great for any kind of data collection, so whether you're collecting feedback or doing quizzes, Google Forms is the place to go. If you're in Google Drive, you can click on the New button, go into the More section and click on Google Forms to create a form. Alternatively, open up a new tab and you can type in forms.new and this will create a Google Form for you. Once the form opens, you can put in your title here. I'm going to call mine my Google Quiz. And then you can click in the top left to name your file. One of the first things that appears in your Google Form is a question, but then you can add other elements using the toolbar on the right hand side. These are questions, importing questions, text, images, YouTube, and other sections. And we'll go into those shortly. So in our first question, we can type in the question we want to ask. What do you use Google Docs for? Then we have to determine the type of question we want to ask. So here we have a list of the different types of questions and I'll be making a different video that will go into these in a lot more detail. But for a question like this, we could have a short answer or maybe a multiple choice, so you can have a number of different options to choose from. If I have multiple choice, I could put in, for example, word processing, slide design, dealing with data. You also have an option here to add other if you wish to. But for a multiple choice question like this, we don't really need that. When you've added your information, you've got some other tools down the bottom here. You've got the option to duplicate your question, delete your question, mark the question as required so they must answer. And if you click on the three dots, I can add a description, go to section based on answer, which I'll describe later, or the shuffle the option order. So once I've done my question, I might want to add another question and then add that in too. Or I can click on import questions and this links with other forms that I've created. So if I click a previous form, click select, and the other questions appear on the right hand side. So if I select a question and click import questions, it will then come in. I'm just going to delete this one here. The next thing I can add is a text, and this can be used to break up your questions or to add more information into your form. Within Google Docs, you'll also see these six dots at the top of any element. If you click on there, you can then move this around. The next option we have is to add an image. I can upload from my device, camera, from the web, photos, my Google Drive, or my Google Image. If you do Google Image searches, that's a safe search, and you'll have the rights to use those images. So I'm gonna go into my Google Drive to add an image, something I've just shared with myself. When you add an image, you can add a title. Also, you can resize the image if you wish to. Next, we're gonna add a video. So again, if I'm following my theme of Google Docs, I can do a search here. And for example, I could put a Google Docs tutorial video in there. Again, with the video, if you want to, you should resize it. It's important to resize often because this will be the size that they view it as in when doing the form. And lastly, we're going to add a section. So I'm going to call this Google Docs Answers. Now obviously this is now at the bottom, so I'm going to just move some things down into that section. If you don't want to move things around, the key is to put your cursor in the section that you want your new element to appear in. And so now I'm going to add a section and these are going to be my Google Docs questions. If at any point you want to preview your form, you can click on the little eye icon up here and this will show you how it will look for us. So I'm going to click on next 
and you can see my questions here. I can answer them, click next, and you can see my text, my image, and my video. Once someone's done, they can then click submit to submit their form. So this has been a very basic guide to get you started and adding various elements into your Google form. Do check out our other videos to build upon this.